In this video, I'm going to show you how to find the critical regions for the most commonly used alphas. So we're going to use um, both alpha 0.05 and alpha 0.01, and then we're going to finish with alpha 0.001. I'm going to show you both one tail and two tail. So again, this is our, our unit normal table here, right? And in in, um, maybe some of you already wrote on this, but if you haven't yet, um, print one of these out and have it there with you as you're doing your homework. I'm going to use it for um, several chapters in our textbook as we go through the semester. So this is our Z table. And again, the critical region is set by the alpha, okay? And um, so at this point, you can write either like Z crit, somewhere on here. I've also seen C, V, um, Z, right? So critical value of Z. Um, I, I usually go C, Z crit, and then um, in the later chapters we go like T crit and R crit. All it means is um, because of whatever the alpha is, um, 0 0.05 or 0 0.01, or even sometimes 0.001, um, it, that's, that, those alphas are going to set your critical value for your Z, right? So your Z crit. So in the first one, let's do um, 0 0.05. And again, 0 0.05 is going to be found in the tail. So we're going to be looking in the C. And we have um, two Cs here, right? So we have each page, um, just think of it like it's one continuous long one. They just didn't um, want to waste paper. So the last one you see here is um, 0 0.024. And see how it comes right up here, point, um, or 0 0.25. So um, 0 0.05 is actually found in the tail. So um, you're looking here, seeing, okay, no, 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 it's still too big. Okay, so let's go on the next page right here. And you say, okay, um, 0 0.05, yep, not yet. Um, 0 0.05, not yet. Okay, so keep and 0 0.05 should be coming up. Okay, so we have a couple things going on here. So 0 0.05 is um, this one, and it's also this one, right? Because 0 0.0505 is equal distance from um, 0 0.05 as is 0 0.0495. They're both exactly 0 0.0005 um, units away. So the way I was taught was, um, and I believe the way this is the way Gravitar and Aaron text are the two, is you go that um, alpha, at um, 0 0.05, one tail, right, would equal 1.645. So you split the difference, so 1.64, 1.65. Um, now watch what happens when we go to two tail, right? So same thing, alpha 0 0.05, but now two tail means that you split the alpha, right? So alpha 0 0.05 becomes 0 0.025. Two five, and so you have to keep um, going down the thing and say, okay, where is my alpha 0 0.025, um, right? So we have it right here at um, 1.96. So alpha set at 0 0.05 um, with um, being two tail is um, now this point one plus or minus 1.96 because again, we're not just going to have one critical region, right? We're going to have two. We're going to have one on um, the left hand side here in the lower region and one over here in the upper region. So we have a two tail test versus with a one tail test, it looks. Um, you know, here you have the mu. We just have either, um, we'll just do a positive one, right? With a one-tailed test, you just have one region. Um, you can have a one-tailed test over on the negative side, so we'll do that too. And again, right here, we have the mu in the middle. Um, a one-tailed test could be on this side too. That's fine. Okay, so with alpha being 0 0.05, um, one tail, 1.645, two tail is 1.96. Um, the next one, 0 0.01, so we got to start looking for 0 0.01, where would that be here? 0 0.01, so now we're going to do alpha 0 0.01, just do one tail, 0 0.01, um, yeah, keep going, oh, okay, right here. So 0 0.0099 is pretty close to 0 0.01, so um, our uh, Z then would be um, 2.33. Again, for a one tail test. So if alpha is set at um, 0 0.01 and it's a one tail test, then your z equals um, 2.33. Now, watch what happens when we split that. So if we go alpha 0 0.01, 
but now it's a two-tailed test, so 0 0.01 divided by 2 is 0 0.005. Look at the page again. So 0 0.005, um, yeah, right about there. So we have it at 2 point, um, we're going to split it again. Of course we are, okay. So um, it would be the right here, right? So um, alpha um, equals 0 0.01. Two tail, so now it's going to be point zero zero five, and I put that in parentheses because I never really write that. We just write off a point zero one two tail. That would then equal um, two point five seven five. Okay. Now, if we're going to go really crazy and go alpha um, point zero zero one, right? One tail. Let's do one tail first. So we got to find point. Zero, zero, one. So you kind of just keep going through and going through. And again, we're still looking in the C in proportion in the tail, right? So 0 0.01, just a one tail test, um, right about yeah here. Point. Okay, so we have um, 0 0.01 here, 0 0.001 here, and 0 0.0. So I was taught to go with this one, and I think that's what um, gravity does also. So we have um, 3.09, right? And then if we did alpha. Um, 0 0.001, but now two tails, so we're going to have two critical regions. And I'm going to go aka like 0 0 0 um, 0.005, right? Um, so point three zeros and then a 5 um, would bring us down to right about yeah, here. All right, so we have um, alpha 3.30. Okay. So a couple things to keep in mind. Ask yourself, okay, what's the alpha? Is my alpha 0 0.05, 0 0.01, 0 0.001, 0 0.25? What is my alpha? And then depending on what my alpha is, I need to ask, okay, is it a one-tail test or a two-tail test? If it's a two-tail test, I have to split the alpha. So 0 0.05 becomes um, 0 0.025, 0 0.01 becomes 0 0.001, etc. And then always look in the tail. So whatever that alpha is, 0 0.0, um, 0, 0.05, um, you know, becomes now over here. And that's going to set your, your Z crit, right? And so you have your Z obtained and you have your Z crit. That's what this is trying to do. Or your critical value, right, of Z. 